Good morning, everyone. It's Joker, and today we are back for a very early morning slime video. Currently 4.43 in the morning. Uh, the live stream for the New Year's meta just ended, and I would like to direct your attention back to this image that we got. Uh, last week I made a video on it. This came from Jump Festa, a convention that was happening in Japan at the time. And we have this new Rimuru and this new Diablo figure, and this image of nine slime characters, right? And I figured, hey, it'd be pretty cool if they made the New Year's meta based on some of these units. Well, I can see the future, I'm a smart person, and uh, it is an Ichiban Kuji collab for New Year's, which this these are Ichiban Kuji figures, in case you didn't know that. So, the meta, starting on the 29th, which is technically the 28th for me, so Thursday at 6 p.m. my time, the meta will change over, and we are getting New Year's units themed after these character designs. Who are they, you ask? Well, I'm sure very many people will be pretty pleased with what you're about to see. So, we have the Ichiban Kuji figures and all that. Cool, there's Diablo, there's Rimuru. I wonder who some of the characters are gonna be. So let's just jump in, and we have Summonable Light Rimuru. Now we do have the global side, Twitter open. There is a mistake on their side, but Rimuru is correct. So, he is a light unit. He is on New Year's Blessing, Shizu's Will, Octogram Demon Lord, and Commander. So New Year's Blessing, very obviously, is going to be the meta, because we're in New Year's, or we're about to be. His first skill, 40 skill points, increases his own attack by 40% for two turns, and 60% weakness strike, also for two turns. So 40 cost skill, uh, that's quite a hefty buff right there for one character. 40% attack and 60% weakness strike, so that's already pretty good. And it lasts for multiple turns, which means you can use it early, preemptively, and then have it for the nuke. His second skill changes his own orbs to Soul of Unity. And if you do not know what Soul of Unity is, it is what the Visions of Coleus Rimuru does from the second Annie. So, uh, not that one. Different Rimuru. Uh, where is he? He's dark. Do, do, do. This one. This Rimuru. He changes all blue orbs to Souls of Unities. So he requires a blue orb before it becomes a rainbow. This new Rimuru needs his own orbs to turn into rainbows. And then he also gives his own orbs 10% damage increase, which means that, you know, if you have a full hand of Rimuru, they're going to be all rainbows, so max protection gauge, max points, max ultimate, or max, uh, yeah, alt gauge, and you'll get an extra 10% damage buff on the orb. And this is only once per fight. So just like Visions of Coleus Rimuru, you do have to be kind of smart with when you use it. His alt is a single target light physical attack for 510%, and then 200% does one and a half. So we have another light unit. We are in a physical meta, as I predicted. So, I mean, we had four straight months of magic. It wasn't hard to really determine that. But summonable battle unit Rimuru. Uh, DPS and another rainbow converter and light physical. And then the next unit, the protector, is Shion, as soon as it loads. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. Shion. So from this image, it is this Shion right here. People have been asking for an EX Shion. Well, here you go. She is the protector. Now, like I said, the global version does have her kit. There is one mistake, though, on this. So she is a dark, you know, she gives extra damage against dark allies. So increases damage done by New Year's Blessing Force characters to dark by 60%. Increases physical characters' attack and defense by 25%. And at the beginning of each turn, from turn 2 onward, increases skill points by 30, max of 4 times, can exceed cost limit. So what this means is that you are capped at 100 points with her, but on turn 2, you will get an extra 30. And if you already have 100 points, you will now have 130 points, because it can exceed the cost limit of 100. And theoretically, if you don't use her until turn 6, you don't use any skills, you could have up to 210 skill points stocked up. 
Now, I don't think that's going to happen, because you're going to be using skills, but pretend you have the potential to always be at 130 points if you have max gauge and max points at the end of every turn four times. So after, you know, the fifth, after what, turn seven, or after turn six, you're not going to get it again. So it is very much a burst team. She is an orange meta. We are going back to orange meta so quickly after the um, to, to, to do the wielder of magic meta. So it's only been three months and we've got another orange meta. However, it's not that different. Changes three green and three blues into six oranges, just like literally every other fucking orange meta has ever done. Hakuro does that. Toa does that. Wielder of Magic Milam does that. And now Shion does that. My only real complaint with this entire, you know, this live stream is that we need some better creativity for orange metas, man. The, they can't keep doing it, right? We've we've had four metas, four protectors that focus on oranges, and they all do almost the same fucking thing with minor damage differences. Milam gives magic allies pierce. Uh, Toa Toa gives an extra forty percent skill points in oranges. Hakuro doesn't do anything but give you know forty skill points and change to oranges. So this Shion doesn't give forty, and when you use her, she just passively gives you thirty multiple times and then she's giving guaranteed crit for physical allies and this says guaranteed pierce but it is actually guaranteed synergy based off the translation here and in the actual beatdown example that we have here where we'll show after they use Shion and do to do and so uh pause unpause and boom so we now have Guaranteed Crit and the Synergy icon, not the Pierce icon. So Guaranteed Crit and Guaranteed Synergy to all physical allies, which is pretty, pretty big, right? That's a very, very good skill to put on all physical allies. And there are a lot of physical units. We've gotten a lot of magic for the past while, but uh, this this will be good for Valor Cup. This will be good for newer players. There's a lot, you know, uh, it's, uh, the game is half split between physical and magic, so you're going to be buffing somebody out of this. So, EX Xion finally gets a character. She is a protector. Some people may be disappointed by that, um, but she seems to be fairly decent. And then, moving on, we have do to do free to play Battle Diablo again as soon as it fucking loads. So we don't have global translations for these, but I do have them translated anyway. He is an AoE alt for 290%, and then, what, I think lowers counterattack power or something like that? It's a pretty useless secondary effect on the alt. He is an AoE dark physical alt. He's on Primal Demon, the Emissary Beatdown Bazaar, and New Year's Blessing. His first skill <laughs> gives away... Three orbs to the New Year's Blessing character with the highest attack. So very much limited to a New Year's Blessing team, but he will give three random orbs away to your highest damage unit. And that could be, you know, impactful for, say, Rimuru, who wants his own orbs to convert to rainbow. So that, that can be good. And then he also gives a 20%... Uh, okay, I didn't actually have that on there. Uh, what is what does that second part of that do? Translate. And skill point increase by 20% for orbs. Okay. So he gives away three orbs to your nuker, in theory, and then 20% 20 skill, 20 skill point gain. His second skill is all New Year's Blessing unit orbs get a 50% gauge increase across the board for two turns, and then also puts a 20% AoE crit resistance down on the enemies for one turn. So, you're giving away three orbs, you're buffing their skill points, you're buffing New Year's Blessing orbs by 50% across the board, so extra protection, skill point, and alt gauge increase, and you're putting an AoE crit resistance debuff on the enemy. So, he is highly specific, right? You can only use him alongside New Year's Blessing characters for these skills to even fucking matter. But on New Year's team, he'll be pretty good. Uh, and then we have free-to-play Protector Benimaru. 
So the three units that people wanted, Diablo, Benny Mario, and Xion, they literally gave them all three of them. They're not all EX characters, which means that we're still going to get an EX Benny Mario and an EX Diablo somewhere. But we got all three of them. Um, free to play Benny Mario gives a 30% damage buff to New Year's Blessing against Dark Enemies. And Ogre's Pride in New Year's units get a 12% attack buff. And then his protection skill is he changes what looks to be all blue orbs to orange orbs. An 80% physical ally crit rate up. And gives you 20 points. So, you know, if that is actually true and he changes all blues to all oranges alongside this, that's actually not a bad free-to-play protector. All right? I think they've been doing a little bit better job with free-to-play protectors um, in the past couple months. The early ones were super duds. They Most of them suck dick. But the, the most recent ones have actually been fairly useful. You know, Vengeance Albus, the Slime Rimuru the visions of Kolia Satoru, even, you know, uh, Chloe. You know, she's actually can be useful because she gives you invincibility if you have a pretty sparkle team. And if you can't die, then how are you going to lose? So there we go. Um, let's watch the animations. I will turn everything off. I'll turn the sound on and you can watch them. <laughs> さ、かじ、で、さ、せ。やっさい風光人。一見落着だな。狐に捕まれたような顔してますよ。見とれてしまいますか。ならば特別サービス。キュービーらしく強行All right. So overall, I think the animations look pretty good. I like all three of their animations. Sometimes, you know, the free-to-play ones can be a bit wonky. Sometimes they're funny. But I think all three animations do look fairly solid. Um, but, you know, you can let me know in the comments how you feel about it. I know people will be happy for their EX Xion. So congratulations, you have won. Um, but now we have a lot of information to go back through. Um... We have a New Year's 30-day login bonus where we're going to get 100 bitch tickets, 360 crystals, a guaranteed 5-star battle character, and protector character, or ticket. So this is just additional on top of like the normal meta login that we normally get. So this is for free. So 360 crystals, that's a multi and you know a little bit extra. 100 tickets will allow you to pull something, hopefully, maybe, and then guaranteed 5 stars. So... Definitely cannot complain about free stuff. We will have a, another New Year's login. This is a 5-star selector ticket for New Year's units. And then this is a 10% EX character battle ticket, 5-star ticket. And these are both free. So again, on top of the other free stuff that we're getting, you know, the 360 crystals, the 100 bitch tickets, we're getting these. So that's four guaranteed 5-stars from just logging in. So that's awesome. Now this selector ticket, this Happy New Year 2024 ticket, it is a selection of characters. This these this selection. We've got Light Millum, Fire Millum, Light Raphael, Light Lumi, Light Shuna, and Fire Rimuru. Uh, this is actually pretty big because people who don't have Light Shuna or don't have Light Raphael, those are huge pickups. Um, Light Millum is generically okay for blue teams. She's kind of been replaced by others. Uh, Fire Millum, she does get a skill fusion for, for this meta, so her she, it's not much, but it, it is something. But she's quite an old unit. Light Lumi is really only good for one stage, and then she's not really that great for anything else. Uh, Fire Rimuru, not that good. So main, the two primary pickups for this free ticket are either Protector Shuna, because you need her and her double stacking abilities, or Light Raphael, because his generic support. 
So big time ticket choices. If you already have these two, then you know have at it. it doesn't really matter. Um, moving on, we're gonna have a new kind of wish strip or card flip event. It's a daily quest where you get a little ticket and then you use the ticket and you pull a fortune. And you know the better your fortune, the better the rewards. We've got five star tickets, normal tickets, four star tickets. We've got um, you know big time skill enhancements, autogram emblems, ores. Uh, and then Platinum Hammers are also in here. And this is just a, a once a day daily quest. So again, this is also free shit. So excellent. We've got the 800 days of service where we're going to get a guaranteed five star protector ticket. And currently we are, I, I currently am at 791 days logging in. So I don't know... This will happen on the 4th that we'll get this ticket. Okay, so a little bit early, but 800 days of game service. Awesome, cool. Another free ticket? Cool. That's like, what, one, two, three, four, five free five stars now already? Awesome. Uh, when we're going to have Bond XP conversation, we're going to get this free mochi item. So like how we're getting the anniversary cake right now. We're going to transition into a New Year's kind of mochi when you talk to people. So that's just Bond XP. Uh, we're going to get two, count it, two free builder slots on when the meta starts. So normally they only give us one or nothing, but they're going to give us both slots for free, which is huge. So if you need to you know, upgrade your bamboo forest... This is a good time to do that to get to Charm Resonance. If you need Population to play some events, this is a great time to do that. So, two free builders. Awesome. We've got the Kaijin event coming back on the 31st for me, or the first for, you know, everyone else. Kaijin event is a fantastic place for new players to grind a whole bunch of these materials very, very quickly. I suggest everybody do that. We have, and this is, this is actually pretty big right here, uh, Valor Cup. Few new things for Valor Cup. So we got a brand new rank above Legend. And once you hit that, you're going to get a guaranteed EX 5-star ticket. Guaranteed EX ticket right here for achieving the highest rank. And, and they're going to reset all the rewards for climbing. So right now in Valor Cup... Um, you know, every season they drop you back down a few ranks and you climb back up, but you don't really get anything from climbing back up. They're going to take everyone back down to bronze level. And every time you get to a new higher rank, you're going to get the, like, reward crystals for first rank increase. So they're going to put us back down to bronze 2, and you're going to climb your... At or bronze 3, and you're going to climb back up, and you'll be able to reacquire all these first-time crystal rewards, which is up to a 1,000 crystals... And if you get to the new highest one, it'll be a guaranteed EX ticket. But they're going to revert everybody, every single player, me, you, nature, the JP whales, everyone's going back down to bronze. Everyone will reclimb and be able to get a thousand free crystals by just by doing this. And on top of that, they say in the second part down here that starting at the end of February-ish, they're going to redo how Ranked Valor Cup works and make it, quote-unquote, more accessible for all players to attempt. They don't really go over in detail what that means, but we are getting some kind of revamp for Ranked Valor Cup in the near future. Hopefully they actually give us fucking crystals, cause, or cut down the amount of times we have to fight, because 40 for no crystals is kind of, kind of bullshit. But we do know that there's a revamp coming, new rank, EX ticket, crystal rewards getting reset, that's awesome. And then this actually, uh, this next screen was technically announced yesterday in the game. It is changes to the premium ticket recruit. So right here, changes to characters available in the Tempest premium recruit. This only applies to players that have the monthly pass because every month you get four premium tickets that gets you four multis and they're adding EX characters into that premium ticket pool. Only that premium ticket pool. So if you don't have the monthly pass, this does not apply to you. But you'll be able to get Fount of Wisdom and World of Fantasy characters alongside EX, Yom, and Mirren from those premium tickets, which is good. You know, you pay money, you get a little bit extra. Cool. I mean, that's how gacha games work, right? It's pay to win. 
and then we have the actual information, we have cards, we have, you know, the roadmap that they keep showing off, so we're counting down the months until Season 3 comes out. Uh, God damn, this takes so long to load. Uh, come on. So we've got, you know, Mitzvah, we have the Visions of Koli second anniversary, we have the Idol Master campaign, now we have the Ichiban Kuji collab. So this is January, we have March, or we have February and March, and then in April, Season 3 airs. So we only have two more months of unknown things before we actually get to Season 3, which is, you know, exciting, right? Season 3. Uh, we have the Beatdown Battle versus Adelman, interestingly enough. And you can, you know, I'll put this link down there. You can watch it on your own time. Here is, like, the gallery image with Shion, Rimuru, and Diablo. So it looks pretty good. Uh, the event shop, they made a few changes. They're adding in a five-star protector ticket. So that's another, quote-unquote, free, five guaranteed five-star right there. So we're up to, like, six now just by playing the event. And they're increasing the amount of times you can exchange for 5-star shard up to 3 now. It used to be 1. So, 2 extra 5-star shards, another guaranteed 5-star ticket. We still got the 2 free multis for the banner in here. So, awesome. Uh, moving forward, we have you know the beatdown battle where we get dupes of Diablo. Pretty typical. We have some sale packs. So, these are all like the $80 packs. There's 1,000 crystals and a 30% new character rate ticket. There's a 900 crystal, 10% ticket, and 5 EX shards, still for 80 bucks. And then we have 1,000 tickets, a 10% ticket, and 10 of the Star Stones, which currently we have in-game in the shop. And if we check it out, it'll be this. This ends in two days when it changes over, and it'll get refreshed. This has up to second anniversary Hinata and Shizu. So we're getting more Star Stones. Are they going to update this pool? Are they going to just keep, like, extend the banner out and have the same kind of pool the same? I don't know. Um, but, I mean, if you're... These are good packs if you want to pay money, which some people do, some people don't. On top of that, they're also doing New Year sales for the normal crystal packs. So, Magic Crystal Shop. Shop. So how, like, the G pack is 1,000 crystal for 80 bucks. It's going to be 1,500. 450 for the 275 pack and then 135 is the 200 crystal pack and they're the same price so you get through five multis for 80 bucks versus three multis and change for 80 bucks for the normal sale packs which is you know good if you want to spend money for whales right Milam's skill fusion it is her crit skill so all allies get guaranteed crits and it seals crit resistance on the enemy for one turn um they just go to two turns no additional effect so it's just a lengthening of the amount of time that you have crit and they have crit seal on them so it's not a huge impactful skill but it does make it a little bit easier to set up your nuke if you can use this early so it, it, it can definitely help people out but again skill fusions are locked to characters that are level 100 so max dupes so sorry new players you're not gonna be able to do this i've complained Every single time, ever since this first came out, skill fusions that get rid of the fucking level 100 cap. There's no reason why a two-year-old unit has to be fully duped out before you can take advantage of this. Like, there, there's no reason. You're just hurting people. Uh, we are getting three new stages added to the Mem Chamber of Memories and Contracts. This specifically is the no EX character stage. So, three more stages, three more EX shards, plus, you know, five crystals each. So this is good rewards right there for players that can attempt it, but you do need 120k population to even do it. It's more geared towards endgame players, but it does give us something to do. And we can already see the elements, so physical water, uh, physical dark, and earth magic. So we'll play it around. We have a new highest difficulty stage coming against Veldora. So uh, during, what, the half anniversary somewhere one and a half anniversary we had the hardest difficulty stage against veldora against like the red veldora we now have this stage against normal veldora and we will get crystals and it will be very very difficult i'm thinking probably like 630k ep requirement or something like that it's gonna be crazy can't wait to do it can't wait to test some teams on it free content right there 
We're going to get an Octogram Lumi Descent or Harvest or Event, whatever the hell you want to call it, just like we get for all the other Octogram Demon Lords. So more stuff to do. Awesome. Uh, this happens on the 8th, so we've got a few things coming in the future. And that is about it. So a lot of stuff. Again, New Year's units. New Year's theme seems to be pretty strong. Burst team, another orange meta. So let me know what you guys think of all this information. We're getting a whole bunch of free tickets, so that's always good for newer players. Uh, also, I don't think I actually covered it in here, but we are also getting... We're going to get a free dupe for Xion. That's... there. Here it is. I missed that. We are going to get bingo missions, and you, everyone will get a free dupe of Xion if you happen to pull her, which is great, because free dupes are awesome. Free dupes are great. So, there we go. That is everything from the live stream. There is a content preview in the game already that covers some of this, not all of it. But here is the Part 1 Recruit with Rimuru and Xion. There's the sale packs. There's the meta event. Beatdown battle. The Heavenly Conquest the Storm Dragon, so this is the super challenging, difficult stage. We've got new stages for the Mem Chamber of Memories. We've got bingo missions with Xion. We've got the Mochi from Friendly Conversations. The double slots unlocked. Rise to the Ranks starts on the 31st. And then the Kaijin Core also starts on the 31st for me. So there we go, guys. Happy New Year's. Uh, people have been wanting an EX Xion. Here you go. You get her with a bunch of tails and... A whole lot of personality busting out of that. So let me know what you guys think about this. But that's it for me. Take it easy. And I'll see you all later.